Hey everybody, we are back with another review, and today we got some Star Wars Mission Fleet figures to check out. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review and let's check out Boba Fett and The Mandalorian with Child. Pretty awesome, right? We'll start off with Boba Fett first. Now, straight out the gate, that jetpack that he has definitely looks like Slave 1. That is pretty cool. You can see him flying with it back there, so it does snap on. You can see it snapping on the back there. The fins move, it looks like, and it looks like it, does it hold it? Does it hold his blaster? Maybe. <clears throat> Maybe it holds the blaster? I don't know. Well, let's find out. So you know me, I like to slice these open so that I could restore the blister pack. And I don't like to jack up the cardboard either. Because it's easier to store when it's not all like ripped up and torn up and looks like garbage but I like to get just enough cut so that you can slide it right back in there without messing anything up and plus it great to store those vertical you know <clears throat> let's see what we got his blaster is just a little bit soggy it's kind of soggy I don't know it's kind of it's not very stiff it's like very soggy actually let's see what we got in here jetpack with the parts just flying off. I guess they're supposed to come off. Maybe they could be used as like some kind of weapon or something. I'm not too sure. But it's got, does that come up? No. That must snap into his back. But I guess he, he can hold these too because it looks like there's like blaster rifles in there. Right there. That's kind of cool. I imagine this is the jetpack portion of it. Oh, he's already got a jetpack on, so what is that, then? He already has his jetpack on. Which I guess you swap out for this? What is... So you swap out his actual jetpack for that? Interesting. And then I imagine this is the hand that they want you to hold the blaster rifle in. There we go. Pretty cool. Let's check out just the straight-up Boba Fett figure. I like... I like that, minus the uh, futuristic Slave 1 jetpack, which is kind of cool, but I definitely just dig the classic Boba Fett, which actually looks really cool. Yeah, he looks dope. And that's actually like the very similar color to his original first appearance costume, which is neat. They didn't do any insignia on him at all. They just did uh, his paint application for his suit. They, the cape is added to the jetpack, but only when you have this one on. The other one doesn't have the cape on it and then here he is with his blaster which is actually really cool so check that out we got boba fett that is super dope and he stands up rather well i mean his, his legs are adjustable just back and forth which is nice so you could definitely get like that perfect stance for him so he doesn't fall over and then you got like the slave one jetpack slash gun detachable guns little extra toy if you would so again I like to load these load these guys back up and then I'll slide them right back in the in the case for storage so works out really well for me all right next one we're gonna need to make some space for this guy because this has two figures in one this one might actually have like a removable tray which would be nice let's grab out Excalibur Explanatory information. Yep. Slide out tray. Very nice. That's what we like. All right. A lot of parts in this. Very cool. The pod's cool, too. Oh, the pod lid comes down a little bit. Look at that. It's got a little lid that goes back. Let's see if Grogu sits in there well. Does not sit in there rather well. I don't, he's not meant to lay in there. I mean, he kind of peeks out, you know? I mean, I guess you could just lay him in there. Partially cover him up, I guess. I mean, he must take a nap. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, he doesn't stand in there. It would have been neat, actually, if they made that flat so that he could actually just, like, stand in there. And then, like, his ears, maybe, would just stick out. Kind of like that. But, yeah, he doesn't. It's, like, curved, so... We got the pod. 
we got Grogu, which is head doesn't spin, but he is sitting there with the shifter knob, which is cool. He's got his little cloak on. Doesn't look as creepy as the Black Series one. He actually looks a little less creepy, even though they're made by the same people. All right, here's the Mando jetpack, which is great. Ooh, we got season season two Mandalorian with his full Beskar. These must all be parts for the stand. It'd kind of been cool if they gave us like a Slave One for Boba to fly around in. I mean, they gave us like a Slave One kind of like, I guess, jetpack or something. Now, Mando comes with his rifle and blaster, which is cool. Maybe they'll make one with a spear next. All right. Because I guess technically now he is the King of Mandalore, so. I'm going to pop him out there. Very nice. Look at that. Full Beskar Mando. Very, very cool. With the with the black or dark brown uh, cloak, which is awesome. That looks super sick. And then he holds his blaster, I imagine, in one hand. Or you could put them both in the same hand if you don't want to dedicate one. It looks like that one fits really well in there, though. And then we could put his rifle in his other hand. I mean, Mando is ready to go. Look at that. That is pretty cool, actually. All right, so let's see. We got the speeder bike here. And it looks like the speeder bike has some parts. Hey, let's put the jetpack on Mando. You gotta take his cloak off. Is that how this works? The cape is a separate piece. Look at that. And then you can snap his jetpack on, which is kind of cool, actually. We'll put Mando over here. We'll put the jet jetpack on him and leave that on him and then let's see what do we got here this is his gun I imagine for the front of the speeder bike that looks like that's good and then it looks like this is the projectile not too bad shoot ghost rider pretty accurate very cool so there's the speeder bike right there. I'm not sure what these two holes are for. Well, I guess we'll find that out here in a second. Yeah, I'm not sure why there's those two hexagonal holes on the side. Let's grab the increased instructions here. Let's see. It looks like there's, oh, multiple spots for you to put the gun. That's why there's those added holes there. Oh, I got gotcha. you. So it's added. It's so you basically you could take this, you could take this turret off, and you can put it on the side here. Because I, I was I thought maybe I was missing pieces, and when I was looking at the instructions just now, I thought there was like three of these supposed to be on there, but that's a little overkill. But apparently, you have the clearance on the side to shoot the projectile without it hitting the speeder bike, which would be catastrophic for the Mando, right? But we're gonna keep it here on the front for now. All right, now this is, where the heck did this snap in again? Oh, that goes on the, the little, the child's pod. All this is about is the child. That's what all this is all about, apparently. Because it's all about the part snapping into the, for the child and then snapping into the back of the speeder bike. So that's how it's supposed to go, just like that. Now let's take off, well, actually we can probably leave them on, but I don't think he grabs, maybe one of them will grab. Let's take off the gun. And let's swap it for this. Cause there's nothing for, oh, there is something for him to grab there. Let's do that then. So it looks like he does grab this one, and you could do the underhand grip for that one. And there he is controlling the turret on the speeder bike. Put his legs forward like that, so he's actually riding the bike. 
And I think you have to have the jetpack on for this one. I don't think you could have him seated with the cape. So, and then you could have little Grogu just chilling back here, getting towed by the speeder bike, which is pretty cool, actually. So, just let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of these Hasbro new, I guess you call them Mission Force? Is it Force Mission or Mission Force? Mission F Mission Fleet um, figurines. What do you think this? What of the stylized nature of them? And again. If I was going to check any of them out, it would definitely be Boba Fett and Mandalorian, so boom. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what you think of these two, at least that I picked, and which one would you want to check out for yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, subscribe for more, because I do reviews every single day, so look out for that, and have a great rest of your day.